Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the fabric dolls that you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and I made my oracle cards based off of the characteristics of my Jungle Beauty Goddess dolls from my book series, the Jungle Beauty Goddess book series, book one, two, and three. And today's reading, we are going to talk about why you chose your gender for this lifetime. Some of the answers may surprise you. We're going to jump right into this reading. Thank you so much for watching. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the orange butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over your cards and give you my collective intuition and then I'm going to give you your message from your blue adventuring star being. The first card I have for you to the question, why you chose your gender in this lifetime? The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Safar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Safar's message to you is the light out the way. Pretend you know what you are doing and soon you will. The next card I have for you, let me move this light a little bit. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is Unconditional self-love is the secret to success. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is, the answer is in the questions. The next card I have for you as to why you chose your gender in this particular lifetime is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. You're pulling her twice. She represents the throat chakra. And her message is, 
gather information with an open mind. And the last card I have for you is your lesson card. What is the lesson that you need to learn in this lifetime about your gender? Like, and I have a card from you. And we have Tango the Giddy Caddis, I and I with Mr. Moon Man. And the message is the attraction is real. So my collective intuition about your hand is that the reason you chose your gender in this particular lifetime is because in a previous lifetime you felt that you missed opportunities and that your life that you were unhappy because you were either a male or a female but the energy I'm pulling from the hand is more mostly female but I think it can go for either gender but basically you felt that if if I could you when you when you were a man you thought okay if I was a woman then um, the world would treat me different or if I you know I could have more opportunities people would be nicer to me I would have better relationships so you thought that the answer was if you could just incarnate into a different earth suit you would have a different experience and therefore your life would be a lot better but what the cards are telling me is that they say the answer is in the question so if you're asking questions like man if I was a boy my life would be so different so if you think that the, that the answer is in being a boy then you have to look at your I mean not the question is um, my life would be so much different if I was a boy then what is it about boys that you think make their life interesting or make their life more beneficial is it because they have more freedom is it because they go to school so whatever they were doing it's like you needed to find that in your particular role like every gender has a power so a lot of times what one gender doesn't understand is if like for a guy for example men typically have to go and prove themselves to the world and to in order to be considered a valuable human being so if a guy doesn't have a job, society, you know, thinks like, what kind of person are you? But if you're a woman and you don't have a job, society is a little bit more lenient. It's kind of like, oh, you'll figure it out. So you, basically, you thought that if you, in your, in this lifetime, you chose your gender because you thought life would be easier. And from what I'm picking up from these cards is that it's not easier in this lifetime because you are the opposite gender. And so basically, what the cars are saying is that you, what the cars are saying is that self-love, unconditional self-love is the secret to success. And that it really has nothing to do with your anatomical makeup. So whether you are a male or a female, it's it's having confidence in yourself, loving yourself, and learning about yourself, speaking your truth, being honest with yourself. As a matter of fact, you pull two cards from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. The Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara represents our throat chakra, which has to do with our ability to speak the truth, to um, our communication with other people and expression our, our ability to express our truth so you have two cards from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and what I'm picking up as to why you chose your gender is that in your previous you need to learn how to authentically express your inner soul your your true wishes your true desires your tr it's like you, you're a type of person who you're not really always honest with yourself 100% about what it is you want and where you want to go with your life. And you, to a certain degree, you kind of blame circumstances in your life on why you don't have exactly what you want. But the cards are saying that you need to tap into your truth and your truth is genderless. Your truth doesn't has nothing to do with your physical body. So basically, 
you chose this lifetime for your particular gender because you thought that life would be easier for you more opportunities would come to you and and that things will be different simply because of your physical makeup but what you are learning in this lifetime is that whether you are male or female that your exterior body your of your your earth suit really is not the biggest factor that is stopping you from achieving everything you want to achieve or having the happy relationships you want to have it has nothing to do with your body it has to do with loving yourself no matter what size you are no matter if you're male or female so that is your lesson is that you is that your lesson in this life you chose this gender to because you thought that being a the, you know the opposite gender that you were in your previous lifetime you thought that that was the major a major factor that was holding you back and you're learning in this lifetime that not being connected with your inner truth your inner power your inner voice your wisdom your you know like you it's kind of like you're looking outside of yourself instead of inside of yourself and that's exactly what jungle beauty goddess Sahara represents that we really have to look within ourselves that's where our power lies like if you look at um, you know a lot of feet women or men or whoever it's like their power was within themselves so basically the gender that you selected is was moving into a new earth suit opposite of which you were in your previous lifetime because you thought life would be easier in the opposite sex it has not really worked out because you haven't your the number one thing you need to learn is unconditional self-love is the secret to success and the card that I have like for you in terms of your lesson for this gender is the attraction is real so what the cards are saying is that when you like someone or you're attracted to someone that it really has nothing to do with their with their anatomical makeup it has nothing to do with whether they're male or female um, that we are limitless beings that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and that the attraction that we feel is real and it has nothing to do with our anatomical makeup so your entire hand your the lesson the, the reason you chose your gender is because you thought it would be easier you thought if only if I was you know a boy if only I was a girl if only I was different my life would be better and what you need to learn is that it has nothing to do with your exterior body that determines your um, as to whether or not your dreams come true or if you get what you want it's when you learn to love yourself and see that what's inside of you is what's powerful and the cards are also saying that you really need to connect with your your inner truth and learn how to express what is really inside of you you pull two cards representing your throat chakra and I'm going to see if there is a message for you from the blue adventuring star alien me is there an additional message for this person in terms of why they chose their gender in this particular lifetime gender is an expression an opportunity to play a role with certain benefits and certain liabilities what humans do not understand is that there would be no purpose in having male and female genders if the gender had no intrinsic value embrace whatever earth suit you have and learn how it works if you are a girl enjoy being a girl or a woman or a female intrinsically there is value in being a woman but if you are looking outside of yourself and wondering what was what is it like to be a man then you're you'll never ex fully experience all of the benefits and the true beauty of what it means to be a woman 
the same thing goes for if you are a male stop looking to be if you are an elephant be an elephant don't try to be a giraffe <laughs> if you you won't experience your trunk you won't experience your ears you won't experience what it's like to stomp through the jungle and listen to it rattle you part of the beauty of selecting an earth suit is to experience the qualities of that particular suit so yes there are many factors where all beings all life forms share the same sentiments the same emotions the same feelings but there are also differences so enjoy whatever earth suit that you have play it up enjoy what makes it different what makes you unique what makes you special without worrying about what your life would be like if you were something or someone else wow that was interesting thank you so much for that message so that is the message I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling. If you selected the purple butterfly, which may also look navy blue depending on your computer, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over your cards, and then I am going to see if there is a message from the um, gemstone skull for you. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire, who represents your third eye. And her card says, Be Creative. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, who represents your second chakra, which is also responsible for your creativity and your emotions and your feelings. Her message to you is spontaneity is the cure for everything. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents your root chakra, which is responsible for your connection to the earth, your body, your earth suit. And her message to you is, your body needs fuel, rest, water, food, and exercise. The next card I have for you is, again, we're pulling in Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And her message to you is, safety first. Now, what is really interesting about your hand is that you pull two cards from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents the body. So the question is, why, why did you choose your gender for this particular life? What I'm picking up from your hand is that you chose your body for this particular life because you wanted to... What I'm picking up, this is just so weird, but I'm picking up that you wanted to have a family. You wanted to... Um, collectively let me just say this because I don't want to just stop it what I'm picking up from the cards collectively is that you want a family you want to have a, a relationship but you want it so bad that you tend to find yourself in a lot of unhealthy relationships or relationships that are not always for your highest good. So when I pick when I let me just tell you how I came to this conclusion. So we have the two cards from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara which represents your root chakra. And your root chakra has to do with your um, being grounded, your, uh, your the base area of your body. And it has to do with your relationship with, uh, with the you know, with the earth, yourself, your tribe. So, and it says safety first. So it's giving me the feeling that you wanted to be a, whatever gender you are. Um, you wanted to be in this particular gender because you knew what you wanted. You knew you wanted a family. You knew you wanted to be 
um, and a family is what's popping up in my head, and especially with the root chakra, because the root chakra has to do with our being connected to the earth. And then you're pulling in Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, who represents our second chakra, which is where our ovaries are located, and spontaneity is the cure for everything. But that's her message, but what she represents is your, your, um, uh, or your reproductive organs. So basically, the next card I have, which we've gone over, is a card from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire, who represents your third eye. She's saying be creative. So what I'm picking up collectively from your hand is that you wanted to come to this planet or be in this particular gender in this lifetime because you wanted to create life which is represented by the root chakra and the ovaries. You want you wanted to create life. You wanted to have this experience of being, um, I want to say a mother, or maybe a father, depending, you know, but you, you, you were looking forward to this. And um, your lesson card that I have for you, it says, let's, we're going to get a good look at it here. We have Jennifer Beauty got a sign I, Mr. Moon Man. It says, if it doesn't bring you pleasure, why bother? So what I'm picking up collectively, this that was your lesson. You came, you chose this gender because you wanted a family and you wanted to create life. You wanted kids, you wanted the whole pack, pack, uh, package. But you know what you want, but it doesn't seem like you are attracting the right mate to give you what you want. And your lesson is, if it's not a good relationship and if it's not bringing you pleasure and if you're not happy, you have to let it go. Like, don't think, well, you know, I, you know how some people just like, oh, I want to have kids, I want to have kids, so um, I want to have a family. And so what happens is they sacrifice so much of themselves in terms of their self-esteem and their time. They put up with a lot because they think on the back end, they're going to still get what they want. And this is why you have the card that says safety first. You know, safety first is telling you to be careful in the people that you are allowing into your life, into your heart, because you want to have this family. So you chose to be a girl because you wanted to create. Um, this card can go for either a male or female, um, but I am speaking in particular to, to uh, females or women and so basically you came you wanted to be a girl because you wanted to have children you wanted to have a family and this desire has been um it has led you to a lot of unhealthy relationships where the love has not been reciprocal the cars are asking you to say a safety first like look out for your heart look out for yourself just because and just because you're in this body and you know what you want, you have to take care of that body. So this, this is why you have the card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara that says your body needs fuel, rest, food, and water, exercise. Like, yes, we know you want kids, but you have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of your heart, take care of your time. You gotta be, you know what you want. You know why you chose this body, but you gotta watch who you are giving this body to. That's what, this is what your cards are saying. Yes, you chose this body because you want to create life, but you need to be, take better care of yourself in terms of how you extend yourself, your time, um, making sure you're in reciprocal relationships where the love is, is being given back to you on an equal basis. And, um, and then your lesson card was for, was, maybe I lost it in here. If it doesn't bring you pleasure, why bother? So if you are, and this again, it plays back into the whole reciprocal thing. If you are with somebody who, you know, doesn't care about your pleasure or care about your body, um, you, I think you need to learn how to attract healthier relationships that are reciprocal where that person is putting in just as much energy into the relationship and they love you as much as you love them so now I'm going to see if there is a message from the um, Chinese script skull is there an additional message for this person 
as to why they chose their body, their gender, sorry, in this particular lifetime. Gender is a fleeting part of the earth experience. It has nothing to do with a person's true mission on the planet. When there is something for a person to do, it does not matter if they are male or female. They will be given the right people, the right resources, they will be given everything they need to accomplish their soul's mission. This person chose their body because they wanted to create. But this creation is not always a family. It could be a business. It could be a piece of art. Creating, having the urge to create a piece of ourselves has nothing to do with our gender. And sometimes people think that they want a family, but what they really want is to express the love that they have inside of them. My message to the person who pulled his hand is to stop focusing on creating a life or a family, but creating from within their own souls, expressing who they are, finding their vocation, finding who you are and what you love. And then this will draw to you everything you need. Looking outside of yourself can be very disturbing because the illusion that you find is that you find yourself looking for happiness from external circumstances and from other people. Create from within. Create your dreams. Create your inspirations. Every day you should practice being creative. Rather is making a different cup of tea or coffee or writing something differently or doing something differently or painting or drawing. Don't focus the creation on relationships or family. Your creative force is meant to be used in a, so many different ways that will bring you so much fulfillment. That was so unexpected. So that is the message from your skull gemstone. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling. If you selected the chill butterfly, this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I am going to give you my collective intuition and I'm going to see if there's a message from your star alien being. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire who represents your third eye, our ability to use our imagination. And her message to you is start where you are with what you have. The next card I have for you is from, again, we pull it in uh, Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire. So you're pulling in some strong third eye energy. And she says, be innovative, turn your idea upside down. 
The next card I have for you is from Demeter, who is the jungle beauty goddess's father, who represents dark energy and dark matter. And his message is self-knowledge makes you invincible. And then you have one message, which is your lesson for this particular gender. So the question is, why did you choose this gender in this, in this particular lifetime? Well, according to the cards, you chose this gender because you wanted a challenge. You really wanted a challenge. You're that person who said, I want to be the only girl in the architecture program. I want to be the only guy in the cook, whatever. You know, you wanted to break the stereotypes. You wanted to show the world that, you know, your earth suit does not matter. You can do whatever you want to do. That is why you chose your gender. You came here just super happy, super gung ho, ready to prove the world wrong, ready to. Pr but guess what happened? It was a lot harder than you thought. Um, what I'm picking up from the cards is that you got here, you're like, what the bejesus is going on? Like, what? Like, you didn't realize that it was going to be this difficult, regardless of whether you're male or female. It's kind of like, I'm just getting the impression that you are, what popped in my head when I was going over your cards was Hillary Clinton. Like, she's been very successful, but it just seems like there's this one ceiling that she hasn't been able to crack yet. But it seems like <sighs> you're a hard worker, you have big dreams. And you came here to show the world what you could do. You know, you're you know, you're know, that Harriet Tubman, that Harriet Be Beecher stuff, whatever the woman is. <laughs> you're, you're, a, you're a person with big dreams and you want to prove that gender doesn't matter. That was why you chose your gender. So if you're a guy, you wanted to go into a direction where there weren't a lot of guys and you want to show people that people can do whatever they want. If you're a girl, you decide to go into a profession where you would be the only girl in the architecture class or the only girl flying the airplane. You didn't care. You were going to be a pilot, whatever. Those are just examples. But you wanted to break the barrier. But once you got here, you're like, oh my God, this is... A it's a little bit challenging, right? And it's challenging because not only do you have just the regular obstacles of achieving any goal, regardless of your gender, but you had the additional, the additional factor of your gender where maybe you aren't receiving the right mentors or you weren't available for the, or they, you weren't invited to certain events where there were mentors who could have helped you. So you have Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire who represents your third eye, where she says, start where you are with what you have. She's saying that, yes, it may be difficult to achieve your goals, your, your big goals, but you need to reassess. Like, for example, if you are a girl and you're trying to get into an engineering program or I'm, I'm just making up something, a program where girls aren't typically allowed there. I feel like the cars are asking you to start a program for women or for girls. Or if you're a guy and you're trying to, you know, do something that most men don't do, be the person to start that. Be the person to not try to be a part of the established uh, programs and clubs that are already here, but to create these opportunities and create programs that are new for your particular gender. So start where you are with what you have. The next card I have for you, it says, be innovative and turn your idea upside down, which goes right back into what I was just saying. So as opposed to you trying to break into the old boys club, then you need to come up with the old girls club. If you know, um, Whatever that dream is, you came to earth to because you wanted to be challenged to realize that those <laughs> this is a little bit tougher than you thought it would be. But the goal is a good goal. The dream is a good dream. And that you need to find a new way to accomplish it. And then, oh God, you just, your hand is magical. The next card you have is from Demander, who is the Jungle Beauty Goddess's dad. And uh, he says, you will learn from action, not inaction. Your hand is really strong. It's saying you came to earth because you wanted to prove, you wanted to break into a 
a program, a you wanted to do something that you're that was not expected of your gender. That's why you chose your gender because you wanted to show the world that you are tough and you got it. When I say tough, I just mean if you're that guy, you wanted to be the first. You know, you want to be the first in a occupation where there are women nurses where even though it's more male a lot of male nurses now but you want to break that wall down you're a girl you want to break that wall down but this hand is telling me that you ran it you, you chose this gender whether you're female and you were pumped about these big goals and big dreams but it just hasn't been as easy as you thought it would be and you've run into some obstacles and you kind of lost faith faith in yourself so Jungle Beauty Goddess, um, Dematter, um, the Jungle Beauty Goddess's father, Dematter, he says, you will learn from action, not inaction. What this means is, child, go out there and make some mistakes, okay? <laughs> so what? Go get in a program if you, if you apply. They don't let you in, they don't let you in. Then apply someplace else. You know, but you will learn your lesson. Start your own program. Maybe things aren't working, but you're going to get there by actually doing it. Not by um, trying to think it through. You have to do it through. You can't think it through. So you will learn from action, not inaction. Don't give up on yourself. And again, Jenny Beauty Goddess Afar said, be innovative and turn your idea upside down. Which means you just may need to, you know, come about it in a whole different way. Um, what was the other card from her? Start where you are with what you have. Like, you know, like don't look... For for the world to coddle you well you knew the world wouldn't coddle you because that's why you chose your gender but what they're saying is don't give up and kind of take these obstacles and turn these these blocks into stepping stones you know the lesson for you um, and then you, you're oh the one card you have also it says self knowledge makes you invincible what this means is you chose th this gender because you wanted to break barriers down. You wanted to get into fields where your particular gender was not popular. And they're saying that self-knowledge makes you invincible in the sense that if you know that it's difficult for girls or women to become airplane pilots, you know, know yourself, know who you are, and know what your strengths are. Like, know what your strengths and weaknesses are because you can still get what you want, but you won't get it unless you have a clear idea about a, a clear understanding of who you are as a person. Does that make sense? So, if you're a girl, and you're trying to get into a program and you know that you can't deal with some of the things that happens in the club with the guys and you know that you know you don't want to deal with you know being teased like know yourself know that you know maybe I should go about this another way so know yourself to know what your um, what you can and cannot take and with that information you got to flip that idea upside down right because now you know yourself and you say, okay, well, you know, I'm just going to start my own school. I'm going to start, I'm going to start a mentoring program for girls who want to go into mathematics or whatever. But you chose this gender because you wanted a challenge. But don't give up because you have what it takes to be successful. But you need to like understand yourself and you need to go about it in a different way. Sometimes we can't change an institution. We have to change ourselves and create our own institution. Your lesson card is, oh my God, if it's worth fighting, if it's worth having, it's worth fighting for. So whatever dream you came to planet Earth with tucked inside of you, you know, yes, it may be a little bit, a little difficult for you to achieve as a girl or a guy because of the, the um, barrier society has set for certain genders. But there is another way to accomplish that dream. And if it's worth having, it's worth fighting for. You chose this gender. You chose this body in this lifetime, and therefore you have everything you need to be successful. You just may need to may need to tweak it, 
look at it a different way go about it a different way don't get stuck don't get caught up in your head because remember that um, action you will learn from action not inaction so you just got to keep believing in yourself so now I'm going to see if there's a message from your star alien B is there a, an additional message for this person as to why they chose their gender in this lifetime the message I have for this person is whenever we choose a challenge we have already created a problem for ourselves that may not exist when you say you want a challenge it means that there could be an easy way in front of you, but you're overlooking it because you want it to be difficult. Stop looking for things to be difficult. Look for the pathway of least resistance. Look at the people who want to support you. Look at the programs that want to support you. There are so many scholarships programs for people who want to break barriers. But if you have it in your mind that it's supposed to be difficult, you actually overlook these factors. You overlook these opportunities. So stop, let go of the challenge, and just look at whatever the goal is, whatever it is you want to accomplish. Look at that and look for the people and the resources around you to help you accomplish it that has nothing to do with your gender. I never know what they're gonna say. Thank you, that was really good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling. If you selected the hot pink butterfly, then this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over the cards, and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand. So the first card I have for you is from Dematter, who represents dark energy and dark matter. And his message to you is stop pretending you are powerless. Somebody getting picked on, child. Well, I'm, I'm getting sleepy. I'm sorry. The next card I have for you. Again, we have a card from the matter, and it says anything is possible. Okay, stop pretending that you're powerless. Anything is possible. The next card I have for you. Again, God, you're pulling in a lot of the matter energy. The matter is like very, very, very powerful. Um, the matter has to do with uh, energy. He says, assert your divine power. And the next card I have from you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. It's a love card. And her message to you is sometimes love means hanging on. So what pops in my mind with this hand is that you chose your gender because you wanted to be taken care of. You wanted to, if you are a woman, you wanted a man who would be responsible for you, who would take care of you, who would love you, who would provide for you, who would protect you, who would, you were looking for somebody to make you happy. If you are a guy, you wanted a woman who was gonna cook for you, clean for you, whatever, but you were looking for somebody to make you happy. And what I'm picking up from this hand is that a lot of your relationships are not successful because you are you have given your power away so you have when I say giving your power away is if you're looking for somebody else to make you happy somebody else to if you think it's somebody else's job to like pay your bills or cook your meals or 
you know, make you happy. Like, why didn't you do this for me? Why didn't you do that for me? It says, you know, the matter says, darling, stop pretending you are powerless. Stop pretending you are powerless. So basically, you want to, you know, your hand is saying you chose to be a woman because you thought, you know, this is going to be so cool having somebody pay my bills, you know, take care of me and my hair and all. I don't have anything to worry about. The car is saying that's not really working out, especially in today's age. Says so stop pretending you're a powerless. So the car is just saying, look, honey, you can do your own hair, you can pay your own bills, and it says assert your divine power. God, your hand is just so strong. Assert your divine power. It just means that whatever. Oh my God, anything is possible. What I'm picking up from this hand is that you are a person who has the ability to be very powerful and to be very successful, but you are looking for other people to make you happy. And um, because you're looking for other people to make you happy and it's not working, um, you're having difficulty um, having nurturing, loving, healthy, long-term relationships. That's what I'm picking up. And it says, sometimes love means hanging on. So what I'm picking up from this hand is that when you um, connect with, when you um, yeah, connect with your inner power, when you understand that it's nobody's job to make you happy or to do for you or to cook for you or to their relationships are mutual so to speak when you tap into your divine power then you'll be able to have long-term healthy relationships and you'll be able to hang on to those relationships because the first and for the first and most important relationship that we have with anyone is actually with ourselves so your lesson card is from let's see what we have here and this is for my love deck. And this is the lesson for you for this gender. You won't know if what you have is real until you give it your all. God. So listen, you chose this gender because you wanted to be cared for. You wanted to be loved. You wanted to be protected. You wanted, you wanted, there was something that you wanted from the opposite sex to do for you, to make you happy. And the cards are saying that has not been a very successful deal. That um, stop pretending you're powerless. You know, you know, you have a lot of power. You could be a very successful business person, or whatever it is you want to do with your life. You you have the power, but don't look for your happiness and don't look for somebody else to do the things for you that you can do for yourself. It says assert your divine power. It's telling you that it doesn't matter if you're a male or female. You are a part of divinity. That you are divine. You are powerful and that you need to assert your own power and stop looking for other people to make you happy or take care of you. Anything is possible. You can do anything. Um, you're brilliant. You're intelligent. You're smart. You're attractive. You have everything you need and you just need to stop looking for other people to to provide for you, to make you happy, to um, give you what you want out of life. Once you're, you tap into your own divine power, you will be able to hang on to your love and to your relationships and things are going to work out for you because your first and from your first and most important relationship is the one that we have with ourselves and in um believing in ourselves your lesson card says you want to know if what you have is real until you give it your all so basically you won't be able to know if your relationship is real love or if it's a healthy relationship until you are an independent person who is able to stand and exude his or her divine power like you need to understand that you you are powerful you don't need anyone and when you are a whole being you will attract another whole being and you will come together and have a whole and happy relationship not one where 
it's kind of like a codependent thing or where you think, well, this person owe me something. So basically, um, the cards are saying you chose this, you chose this gender so that you could get something from the opposite sex that you felt that you needed, but that was you giving away your power. It has affected your ability to have nurturing and loving relationships that are long term. And once you realize that you are powerful and that you can take care of yourself, you will attract the right people in your life who, um, you know, who will love you and you will know what real love is because the real love that you will have for yourself, you will be able to share that with someone else. So now I am going to see what the message is from your star alien being. Let go of your expectations. Let go of all of your expectations for others and yourself and start over in your spirit. What if the other person needs you? What if you're with someone and maybe they leave this planet or something happens to them and they need you? It is so important for you to recognize that you have everything you need to be everything you ever wanted to be. And when you tap into your own dreams and go after them with every piece of your soul, you will find so much joy in your life that you will attract everything that you need, everyone that you need, the world will be your oyster. But your joy is in asserting your own power. What most people don't understand is that the secret to having everything you want is giving away, is finding out what is unique about you and give that away. When you give that away, you will attract everything you need and everyone you need to have a life of joy. So happiness is, is about what you give away and not what you take from others. And once you are able to embrace this, you will have more happiness than you ever imagined. I never know what they're gonna say. God, thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.